Good morning. Well, back on the Revival Boat Project, after we've done our sea trial, we've got a few things to work on, but nothing major. The uh, I didn't feel that this was flowing as good as it should have on the uh, cooling water, and I know technically a low flow here doesn't necessarily mean that it's not cooling well, but uh, we're going to make sure. I like to see a good steady stream out here. And also, another issue I had that uh, when I got back to the dock and shut the key off, the engine didn't shut off. So, I bought a new ignition and we'll put that in and see if that is. It, it might be something as simple as a ground wire, but two, I lost the key somewhere, so <laughs> I bought a whole, I bought the ignition so I'd get the key with it and and uh, the ignition switch and so we'll install that we'll see why it didn't shut off when I turned the key off and also we're going to see why the water didn't come out here good and uh, actually uh, other than the uh, flat tire when I was pulling back in the driveway it went well so you know wouldn't be boating if it didn't cost you a couple bucks Okay, we're going to put the new ignition switch in and uh, we'll see. We're just going to switch, I'm just going to switch wire for wire and, uh, and we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> okay, nice spider web right there. Get him off of there. You know what? <laughs> Do you hear the motor turn over? I'm going to go hook, unhook the battery cable. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I see it's got a crack there. So this is M. And M ain't hooked up to nothing. So. Technically, you put an eyelet on there. That way, even if the screw comes loose, it doesn't come off of there. But I'm not going to change this just yet. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the new one. We're going to get all this wiring straightened out. We got basically we're going to rewire this whole thing, and I'll keep you posted as we go. We'll do that together. But uh, this way. We'll, we'll know what we have. It won't be done at guesswork. Alright. Okay, what I'm doing here is I just wanted to verify that all those uh, plugs and everything on the uh, all the what I'm doing here as you can see I'm going back to the uh, switch and I'm going to the plug-in on the motor this is a wiring diagram and I'm going to trace those back just to verify that uh, each each wire is on the proper uh, terminal on the switch I uh, I think they are but I want to be sure they are so I'm going to take the time to do this yeah what I'm doing here is I'm seeing if I got continuity from here to the front to verify that I got the correct wire on the correct terminal and so that was S in the terminal there's an arrow here and and let me verify that now we're going to go blue and white which is on C so blue and white is on their diagram is one above the large hole on this side so that would be this one right here 
that goes to the blue and white on the back that's blue and white and that goes to the back of the ignition switch on C so let's go see if that's where it's at okay I got a little horn here to test it so this should be C it's not okay this is where that uh, wasn't putting out a good steady stream that's why I said that looked like it had something in it and it does I don't know if you can see that or not but it's got some crap in it so we'll get rid of that clean that all up and I think what I'll do is I'll put the hose on and flush that without this in there but that's why I was saying before you know a lot of times this could not be putting out a good stream and you're still getting plenty of water it's just forcing it back down through the circular system on there so but anyhow I didn't want to chance that it's too, the price is high if you're wrong yeah, I think the tire come apart there. So, probably from setting around. But we'll put some new tires on it. That ain't a big deal. It's, I don't like flat tires, so we'll put new tires on this thing. 